Welcome to Purple Banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Black. I'm Purple Rodri. In the last episode, we made our way here to Driftvale City, and with the help of Clay and Sharon, we managed to defeat Team Plasma. In today's episode, we are actually going to be making our way to the Cold Storage Warehouse, if you guys remember, because we're going to be picking up some items, which you guys told me. Afterwards, we're going to be making our way to the gym, so it's going to be quite exciting in here. Let's see if I can find this guy. Oh, this is the guy you guys were talking about, so let's go ahead and talk to him. A helmet is an important tool for shock protection. It's good to let your Pokemon have one too. So there we go guys, we obtained the Rocky Helmet, and that's just one of the two items which we're gonna be getting today. The next one is back where Team Plasma was. It's an item that I ran over, I didn't realize it was gonna come in handy during our journey, so thanks to you guys for telling me about it, or I wouldn't have even known. So I'm gonna go right up here, and it was actually this little Pokeball, which holds TM55 Scald, and that is a move which is water type move, and it can also burn your opponent. So I'm gonna go ahead and teach that to Roran, since I just know that the gym coming up is ground type, uh, so this move will definitely come in very handy. All right, let me go ahead and teach this to Roran. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the move Water Gun. We are rarely using Water Gun, and it'll be much better to have Scald. So there we go, we learned Sculpt. Thank you guys so much for those tips. That move's gonna come in very handy. And I didn't realize that there are so many cool little items like that. So it's always great uh, when you guys tell me that. Now, we are gonna be making our way to the gym. Hopefully we are ready to battle Clay. I'm a little bit nervous. We'll see what this is all about. Uh, but it should be quite exciting. And, ooh, something's going on here. Clay, it's a pleasure to meet you. I am Getsis of Team Plasma. I've come to pick up my associates who are in your care. I don't need no thanks now. Your buddies were trying to steal some folks Pokemon. What's this? It seems as if there has been some misunderstanding. We only free Pokemon from wicked people. Well, that sounds real nice if it's true. I may not talk pretty, but at least I'm an honest man. You talk real nice, but what you're saying kind of sounds like lying. So tell me plain, what are you trying to say? Team Plasma also has an interest in Driftvale City, and we have many many more members besides those who are here. Well, I can't tell if you're lying or not, but I reckon you won this without a fight. Hmm, fine, take him and get. A decision worthy of a businessman called the Minor King. Your grasp of the situation is outstanding. Well then, we will be taking our colleagues off your hands. Get to thank you very much! Don't worry, my fellow servant of the King. We are two of the seven sages, are we not? Well then, everyone, I expect that we will meet again somewhere. Sorry to let Team Plasma go after you tracking down, fellas. Say, why don't we cheer ourselves up with a Pokemon battle? Don't keep me waiting. Well, we avoided a fight in the middle of the city anyway. Still, I can't help but think Getsis isn't just an ordinary person. I'm off to go make my Pokemon stronger. I really don't want to lose to that clay guy. Actually, I'm going to win my gym badge in a flawless victory. Alright, see you later, Sharon. And it looks like we are at the doors to the gym. So, we are ready to enter Driftvale City's Pokemon Gym, take on its leader, Clay, the underground boss. Ooh, this sounds nice. Let's go ahead and walk in and hope that we are ready for this gym. Ooh, this is nice. Let's talk to this guy. I'm sure it was tough dealing with all that right after you arrived here. For now, I'll just give you this. We obtained some more fresh water. Uh, it's probably going to come in handy during this gym. The gym leader Clay uses ground type Pokemon. Well, just between you and me, ground type Pokemon are good against water type attacks. Kind of makes me wonder why Clay is living next to water. Yeah, that makes sense. You would think you would live further away from where trainers could get what is super effective against you. You know, makes sense to me, uh, makes a lot of sense. Okay, so it looks like we have a puzzle on our hands uh, that's gonna be elevators going up and down, uh, and we can't go anywhere here, I don't think, but to the right. So we have our first battle, let's go ahead and do this.
Ouch, Darunia took quite a pounding there. It looks like this gym's gonna be a lot tougher than I expected it to be. So let me go ahead and use the revive. Let's bring Darunia back. Whoa, we took some serious damage there, and that was only the first battle. I'm getting a little bit nervous for this gym. I don't know what to expect. I just know it's gonna be pretty tough, but let's keep on going now and see if we can make our way further down this elevator place. My guess is that the further down we go, the closer we get to clay, because what other way would it be, right? Okay, uh, looks like we have another battle right here. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this and hope that we can beat him. So there we go, we defeated that one. We also learned Revenge on Roran, which is a fighting type move. Uh, that's very nice, okay. We have a top up here, and we have that up there. Which one to go with? All right, ready, here we go. Ah, I don't know which one to go for. Let's go for the top. Um, let, well, well, let's give it a shot, why not? Let's see if the top will lead us in the right direction. And this led us all the way back to the top. Um, wait. Wait, look at this thing. Why does this have borders around it? Okay, I think we're headed in the right direction. And it looks like we have to battle. Ooh, look at this pretty lady. Here we go. Okay, so Scald is coming in as a fantastic move. Thank you guys so much for that. I uh, don't know if I could have made it through this gym uh, this easily without that TM. And as that girl said, this elevator is going to take us all the way down to Clay and a lot further down, apparently, to the center of the universe. They even have some open doors. How much Pokey Dollars did this dude invest into this gym? Oh my goodness! Okay. Whoa, you know what? You know what this actually reminds me of? Uh, Avatar The Last Airbender. There's a scene where Aang and his buddies actually go down to this underground guy's place, uh, King Boomy, and then he traps them in these, like, green sugar crystals. And tell me this doesn't look like that. That looks, like, exactly like that. All right, and there's even, like, an old dude at the end. All right, there's one more thing I'm actually going to do. I want to check my berries very quickly uh, and see if I have one. Ah, okay, I don't have that many good berries, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, prepare our Pokemon for this, and I'll be back in, like, two seconds. All right, guys, so I've gone ahead and put Darunia up in front. I gave Darunia the Rocky Helmet, then I give Roran the XP share. I feel like we are more than ready for this battle. Clay is right up ahead, so let's go ahead and talk to him. Well, I think it's about time to see for myself what it is about your skills that made a gym leader like Elisa take such a shine to you. Here we go, Rodri versus Clay. Driftvale City's gym leader, the ground type trainer. This battle is on its way. We are challenged by Leader Clay, who has three Pokemon. Ooh, Clay's gonna send out Krokorok. We are gonna go ahead and send out Darunia. Krokorok is level 29, so we have an even battle right from the beginning. And uh, let's hope for the best here, guys. I am gonna go ahead and uh, go for the Fire Punch. We'll see how much that does. Krokorok is going for the Swagger. Um, but you know what? Our Pokemon have plenty of it, so I'm not worrying. Uh, I'm sure it'll balance itself out. And uh, there we go, Darunia landed the Fire Punch. And with that, we should be able to take down this Krokorok. So great start to that. We have took down the Krokorok, which is just fantastic. Next up is Palpitoad. And I'm going to go ahead and switch out. And we're going to bring out Roran. Uh, let's hope that Roran can do this. All right, we'll see what level this Palpitoad is. Ooh, bring it on, Roran. Bring it on. Let's see what's going on here. All right, Clay's going to send out Palpitoad, which is level 29. Okay. 29, that's not bad. I'm gonna go for the Razor Shell. Let's just see how much damage we can put in this guy. Palpatode's going for the Aqua Ring. I uh, don't know what that does. I think it might uh, heal it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it does. Uh, it heals uh, the Palpatode up, like, after every turn or something. So it'd be nice if we could get a burn. I'll be sure to see that coming. All right, let's go for a Revenge now, because I'm guessing he's gonna start attacking us. Uh, we should be able to take it down with the Revenge, which would be quite nice if we could actually do that. I am hoping that we can, which would be pretty great. All right, we're going for that. Uh, whoo, got it down to red. That's okay, that's okay. Um, let's go for the Scald. Clay used the Hyper Potion. Good, you know, use as many Hyper Potions as you want. 
uh, use them by all means because we are really putting a whoop into you so you know I'm not I'm not too worried about the Palpitoad it's the Pokemon coming after it that you guys told me that I'm a little bit worried about I'm gonna go for the razor shell all right Palpitoad use your muddy water on me by all means do your thing do whatever you want to do there all right we're gonna go and use the razor shell got it back down to, to the red zone um, it healed it up a little bit so I'm guessing that with this move we'll probably be able to take it down so I'm just going to go for a Water Pulse. I was hoping that we could knock out two Hyper Potions out of this guy. Um, but it looks like we're not going to be able to. But at least we knocked out one. And with that, we will have took down uh, this Palpitoad. So there we go. A little bit worried now. Now this is where it's really going to heat up. Okay. Roaring grew to level 29, which is great. Next, Excadrill is coming out. Um, so I am not going to switch Pokemon. I'm going to keep out Roaring uh, at this point, And let's hope that we can do some damage. Giving up's the easy way out. If I wanted, I could have given up any old time. I'm going to go for the Skull, and we'll see what this guy goes for. Excadrill is going for the Rock Slide, which I don't think will do too much to us. Wow. Okay. I uh, guess the Rock-type move does a heck of a lot more damage than I expected it to. And I am going to bring out Darunia, and let's hope that Darunia can make some magic happen here. I am going to go for the Fire Punch. All right, this guy is going for the Rock Slide. That's probably going to KO us too. Excadrill is very, very strong. I mean, wow, that one hurt. That one hurt. Okay. Uh, Floater, you are coming up next. Let this guy use all his Rock Slides all he wants because we need to revive our Roran because that's about the only shot we have to defeating this guy at this point. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and heal up Roran. Excadrill is going for the Rock Slide. Uh, I'm guessing that's going to take us down. Uh, yes it did. Okay, okay, we got this. I'm gonna bring out Lumi, then we'll heal up Roran, then we'll hope for the best, my friends, because, uh, the only thing I could imagine is if we can get a burn off on this guy, that we should be able to take it down, but I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll figure that out. I'm gonna heal up Roran. Lumi's probably gonna go down. Oh, this guy's using Bulldoze. Wow, okay. Ah, uh, great, you do that. I'm gonna send out Roran. Oh, and we are down to two Pokemon. Oh, man. Okay, this is great. This is real nice. I'm gonna go for the skull. Excadrill is going for the Hone Claws. Woo! Hone Claws! Yay! <laughs> oh no. Oh no. This is gonna hurt, isn't it? This is gonna hurt quite a bit! We used the crit! We hit a crit! And there we go! Excadrill is down! Wow! Didn't see that one coming. We defeated Leader Clay! Well, I've had enough, and just so you know, we got 3720 for winning. And, whoa, that got crazy. Mmm, I see, but I sure don't like it. For such a youngin', you have an imposing battle style. I know you got people who can dig up your potential. Mmm, here, take this. So there we go, guys. That is our fifth out of eight badges here in the Unova region. Three more to go. We received the Quake Badge from Clay. So this is your fifth badge, huh? If that's so, Pokemon up to level 60 will obey you. Also, I'll give you this TM. Well, that was the plan, but I just remember there's something I want. Wait in front of the cave at the end of Route 6, would ya? What's the problem? Go wait in front of the cave at the end of Route 6. All right, cool. So, it looks like we have defeated Clay. I did not expect us to hit a crit on that. Whoa, I, that was nuts. Uh, but we somehow managed to pull it off guys. Uh, we did it and uh, that was great. That's what it's all about um, I'm very happy that we did it and you know, it couldn't have worked out any better. It, that was a great battle Thanks to you guys for all your tips Scold came in very handy and I don't think I could have done that without you guys and all the help you have given me All right, it looks like clay wants us to meet him at route 6 But we will be taking care of that in the next episode So thank you guys so much for all your tips if you have any more on all the stuff coming up Let me know Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Jamming music, jamming music, jamming music, jamming music.